in Barbados, uh, prostate cancer is the most common cancer that we have. We roughly have in the last census in 2018, 325 people, men, <laughs> women are quite safe, um, men uh, had prostate cancer, 325. It's, next is colon cancer and then third breast cancer. So it's very important and when you consider it's only half the population being men, that's a very high percentage. I think Barbados is the third highest um, probably in the world for prostate cancer. It has a big problem here in the Caribbean and I was born in Africa and in Africa as well because men of African descent get prostate cancer younger and it's more aggressive. So it's vital, it's vital that we diagnose this as early as possible. The whole idea of today's walk is to really bring everybody's attention and I'm including ladies because they're much better than men at coming forward. So maybe they'll push their men folk to come forward and be screened and be seen. If you're over in this country, normally we would start screening about 50. But I think people should be screened younger, probably 40, 45 or even 40. And especially if they have anybody in the family, first degree relative. Because we know that people with first degree relatives, father, uncle, etc., has a brother, has the disease, they're much more likely to get it. Now, we've just finished last year uh, one of the biggest trials, the biggest trial of men of African descent for prostate cancer using the very, very latest uh, way of, of screening. And that's using a DNA molecular signature in the blood. It's rather like if you want to know about your ancestors, you can find out by having a blood test or saliva test and uh, finding out who your, who your relatives were. Well, now, just in the last few years, it's been, we've been able now for at least five or six cancers to find these specific DNA uh, signatures in the blood. And we found uh, here in Barbados, out of the 565 men we treated, uh, we knew 18 of them already had cancer or had it treated, but another 70 with no symptoms, no signs, nothing on the PSAs were normal, the normal test we have for screening, and yet uh, their molecular signatures were positive, and we're following these people very, very closely now. As I said when uh, we started the walk, men, um, I think, don't like to show weakness, so they don't come forward. And that's what we really have to get over, by more education. Uh, it's, you know, cancer's n n not a, such a disaster. In fact, the rest of the world, um, cancer of the prostate's one of the cancers that's uh, least worrying because men can live with it. My brother had prostate cancer for about 16 years and no treatment. Um, but unfortunately, as I said earlier, men of African descent, it's much more aggressive. So they need to come forward and they need to be sensible about this and forget the idea that it's showing weakness. You know, come on guys, just come forward. It's just a blood test. Uh, and, uh, and, and if you find it, then you know, you're going to be treated on day one, which will make a huge difference.